I'm Dr. Alonzo Martin with New Life Institute. I'm here at the Carillon, Miami, bringing you a lecture on how to improve your immune system and overall health. Thank you for joining us. We'll be discussing a lot of interesting topics. We're going to keep it light and friendly uh, with everything that's going on in today's climate. I just want to bring you good information that you may or may not already have, things that you can use, things that may exist already in your home, in your pantry, and even in your kitchen. Uh, so why don't we get started? All of the content that's part of this presentation is for educational purposes only. It's to give you more information. Um, if you would like uh, more of a per, uh, personalized consult, I'm, lo I'm located here at Carillon, Miami in the Health and Wellness Center for everyone that would like to come see us. New Life Institute is a leading, is the leading uh, company here in Miami and across the country for age management and functional and integrative medicine. Uh, it provides personalized and custom treatment plans for patients. Um, that includes nutrition, hormone balancing, um, and supporting whatever medical conditions they may have. Uh, we really get down to the root cause of, of their illness, of their condition, and their symptoms and then try to help them along the aging process. I'm Dr. Alonzo Martin, as I mentioned earlier. I have a background in primary care. I practiced primary care for about 10 years and really was practicing within the disease model. Uh, got very frustrated with that model. Uh, it was difficult to treat patients with only pharmaceutical medications and uh, seeing that patients were just not getting better. Luckily, I found functional integrative medicine um, and it's really changed the way I, I see illness, I see disease, and really the way I treat patients, most importantly, able to offer them more holistic uh, kind of treatment plans that include both lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, uh, nutritional support, uh, hormone balancing, and really more of an integrative approach uh, rather than the disease-based model. Uh, and we're located here at, now at the Carillon Miami Resort. So nutrition is so important in today's, today's environment, as I was mentioned earlier, in today's climate where we don't know um, really what's going on with, with uh, the coronavirus. Um, it's just so, it's so foundational for us to really go back to uh, our baseline. Um, are we prepared? Is our immune system ready to take on anything that it encounters? So with nutrition, uh, we know that nutrition fortifies our innate immune system and our overall resiliency, meaning uh, how we can combat viruses, bacteria, fungal infections. Um, and so we know nutrition really is the foundation for fending off any of these uh, foreign invaders. Nutrition reduces our risk for infection um, and the severity of the illness. If we do uh, become susceptible to an illness, it does lower uh, the severity. Um, so the, the healthier you are, the better your nutrition is, you know, the better outcomes you're likely to have. Um, it also lowers the, the uh, potential for transmission to other people as well. Um, we know that malnutrition increases our risk for infection, so, uh, so you certainly want to be the healthiest uh, possible uh, during, during today's climate. Uh, we know that diet, exercise, and age all contribute to your health status. So people that are older, that have more chronic illnesses, that aren't as active, are more susceptible uh, to uh, more susceptible to infections. Um, so, therefore, with my patients, I try to help improve their lifestyles, their diet, their exercise regimen, so that they're functioning on all four cylinders or all eight cylinders, and really, um, they're they're functioning and performing uh, at, the, at the best possible uh, capacity. And just as a take-home message, you know, micronutrient deficiency really the amount of nutrients, minerals, antioxidants that you have in within the cell, in the intracellular space, um, if you have these deficiencies, that you know directly correlates with cellular dysfunction and oxidation. So we talk about oxidation, just like metals oxidate with time and environmental exposures, so do our cells when, we're, when they're not exposed to the right kind of nutrients, the right kind of minerals, and the right kind of antioxidants. 
And that happens through a free radical process um, and free radical uh, oxidation. So we, we definitely want to provide our bodies with antioxidants, with anything that prevents that process from damaging our cell membranes, from damaging our, cell, our DNA and our mitochondria. So what are the nutritional recommendations? Well, most of these nutritional recommendations you may already know. Um, some of these are pretty self-intuitive. You want to eat a clean diet, you know, focus on organic fruits, organic vegetables, um, and try to avoid processed food as much as possible. Um, things that come in a box, things that are, you know, aren't, think, uh, items that aren't grown naturally from, from the soil, try to avoid those things. Also, don't drink, uh, fluids or beverages that are high in sugar content, such as fruit juices. Fruit juices may have other components that are healthy for you and, and, and may fortify your immune system, but they also have a, a very high levels of sugar. And these, the glucose and the sugar in these drinks can feed, um, feed the virus, can feed bacteria and, and fungi that, that, are, uh, that may be occupying your, your system and your overall body. So when you provide them with more sugar, they replicate more, they duplicate, and they can overtake uh, your body. You also want to avoid fried foods. Uh, we, know, we know that in general it's good to avoid fried foods, but fried foods do, do slow down the circulation in your, in your blood, makes things a little more sluggish, so your, your, your organs, your brain, the rest of your body really isn't getting oxygen and nutrients uh, in, in the right and proper uh, speed and, and form. Um, you want to try to eat uh, free-range meats, poultry, and eggs, and it's best to eat plant-based protein. Plant-based protein is great uh, because it doesn't cause inflammation in the gut, and it doesn't, it, which doesn't lead to more inflammation in the, in the body in general. So you do want to lower the amounts of inflammation uh, that you're introducing to the system. And with plant-based proteins, uh, they, they uh, tend to have a lot less inflammation uh, compared to animal proteins or whey protein. And try to eat raw nuts and seeds. We know that raw nuts and seeds, if you don't have an allergy or an intolerance, they're good for you. You want to try to avoid roast, roasting nuts and roasting seeds um, just because they, they can cause more inflammation, uh, more of an immune reaction in your body. Eat beans whenever possible if you don't have intolerances, also herbs and spices. We know that a lot of herbs such as um, oregano, uh, cilantro, turmeric, they have antioxidant properties but also anti-inflammatory properties. They're natural uh, anti-inflammatory agents so they, they'll, help the property, uh, they'll help the body um, overcome any infections, uh, support and they support the immune system as well. And try to avoid vegetable oil, vegetable oils in general. Um, cold pressed Italian imported oil is okay, uh, but try, try to avoid heating it. Uh, you can put it on salads uh, or other foods, uh, keep it in its raw, um, natural form. Uh, and of course, we're in 2020, uh, no one should be smoking cigarettes, so definitely no smoking cigarettes. Causes a lot of inflammation, have tons of carcinogens, really, really terrible for the body and it really lasts with you for, for many, many years. And also, if you're gonna drink, drink in moderation. Uh, alcohol isn't uh, recommended for people that have cancer, particularly women with breast cancer and men with prostate cancer. So it's really try to keep your drink into a minimum. And so how do we measure the strength of our immune system using functional medicine? So this is really, really important. This is probably the most important slide of my entire presentation. So first you want to start with a complete and, and entire patient history. So you really want to get to know the patient. I spend about 90 to 120 minutes with my patients sitting face to face in a comfortable setting where I can gather um, whatever exposures they've, they've had in their life, whatever surgeries, um, medical problems, family history. Uh, really important to understand the patient as a whole not just a list of symptoms, not just a list of previous uh, medical conditions or a list of medications. Really those things are important, but you really want to take, take into account the person's lifestyle. Really get to know where, they come in, where they're coming from, um, what experiences they've had in the past, what cultural or heritage uh, they belong to. Really all of these things really play a part in health. Very, very important. 
And of course, gut health. We know that 70% of our immune system lives in the gut. So it's definitely, that we, it's definitely something we need to focus on early on. Uh, we want to uh, really make sure that the gut is healthy, that we're absorbing nutrients in the, in the, in the proper fashion, that we don't have leaky gut happening. Um, there is a single cell barrier between the gut and the blood system. And if that, that uh, cell barrier is deteriorated or is malfunctioning, uh, toxins and other, uh, other things can uh, leak into the blood system and cause autoimmunity. Uh, it can cause poor reactions uh, to foods, food intolerances, celiac disease. The list really goes on and on and on. Uh, so really gut health is so important. And there's so many things that we can do with gut health from lifestyle changes to dietary modifications to supporting the gut uh, with different natural um, I, uh, ingredients and different natural treatments. So really, really important there. Um, so the foundations of health, of course, are your complete blood cell count and your complete metabolic count. These things really look into the organs of detoxification, such as the liver and the kidneys, the vital organs in our body, we can't live without them. So we always look, we always look at, at, at these uh, lab, laboratory results and make sure that everything is functioning properly. With this, we look at blood sugar and insulin levels, and of course, electrolyte balance. Uh, are our electrolytes balanced? Do we have any metabolic abnormalities occurring? And if there are, we can certainly address these while, while it's happening. Um, and with, with the complete blood cell count, uh, Always part of that is our white blood cells, with, which are intricate, really, really the, the front line to our immune system, our leukocytes, our basophils, our eosinophils, really our white blood cells um, are, are really what's going to really fight infections and protect us from, from, um, from acquiring any, any, any illnesses when it comes to infectious disease. So always part of my work, absolutely. And of course, intracellular nutrients. How are, how are our cells in our body, how are they integrating our nutrients, our minerals, our vitamins, our antioxidants, our fatty acids? It's really important to actually look at the concentration of all of these components within the cell. And that's exactly what I do with my patients. Um, it's not just important, the concentrations of, of all of these components in the blood, but really the functional status of these within the cell. And, uh, and, and, and Patients are always surprised with, with, with their levels and they, they're taking a supplement or they're eating a food that's rich in potassium or rich in magnesium and they, they find out that, uh, that their levels are actually low. So even people with uh, the cleanest diet, the healthiest uh, lifestyles can still be very deficient uh, in nutrients and minerals. So very important there. Uh, definitely one of my, one of my uh, key uh, evaluations for patients. And of course, functional medicine markers that uh, outline Infections. We can, we can we can test the blood, the urine, the saliva for for infectious markers, and also markers for free radical damage and oxidative stress.